The NBA is adding a four point line. This could very well be a real headline coming a lot sooner than we think. And there's even brand new information that has just come out about this that we're going to cover later in the video. Now, there have been rumors for years of the NBA adding in this four point line going even further than rumors. The NBA has even voted on this before. In 2016, the league's competition committee came together and voted on the idea of adding the four point line to the NBA. Now, this was eventually voted against and the four point line did not find its way into the league. Now, the reason it didn't happen is because they were scared of a scoring surge that would cause defense to go away even more than it has. Now, even though they said no, Adam Silver has come out and said that he's not completely against the idea of this new addition. In 2021, he said that the league will continue to monitor the four point line and see if there's a place for it in the NBA. While it's true that a four point line seems crazy, let's take a trip back to 1979. During this time, the NBA tested out a new addition to the game that would ultimately become what today's league relies on, and this was the three-pointer. At the time, fans and league officials alike were skeptical of how it would impact the NBA because they were just used to having two-point shots as well as their one-point free throws. So when they added this in, it originally was put on a one-year trial to test it out and see if they liked it. And as we all know, the three-pointer stayed, and this is now a focus of every offense in the league. So while we may think a four-point line is crazy right now, in a couple years, it could be a very important part of the game, just like how the three-pointer was added in back in the day. Other basketball leagues have even started to use the idea of a four-point line. For example, the Big Three Basketball League that features former NBA players like Joe Johnson has implemented four-point bubbles, which is a spot on the court where they can shoot from and score four points. The NBA has even use the idea of a four-pointer in their all-star weekend while it isn't in the regular all-star game yet it's a new addition to the celebrity all-star game you're actually supposed to be with the four-point shot the though this four-point line has stirred up heated debates there's a reason that it may be coming soon in a recent interview a former nba champion and father of an nba all-star has come out and explained why he wanted it to be added to the nba Michael Thompson, father of Clay Thompson, has recently said that he thinks the four-point line should be added onto the court. He thinks that the evolved NBA would benefit from this new method of scoring. He used guys like Steph Curry and his own son to explain that they shoot from there anyways, so they should just add this new aspect to the game. And another reason that it may be coming soon is because for years now, teams have actually practiced with a four-point line. The Houston Rockets have recently added a four-point line to their court, and multiple teams continue to practice as if the the four point line is real, which this may be an attempt to get better at doing long distance three, but this could also be a sign that the NBA might be adding in a four point line a lot sooner than we think. Since this could be a reality in the NBA soon, it's time to look at some of the pros and cons of a four point line that have caused these heated debates over the years between players and fans. Now the pros are pretty simple. It would make the game more entertaining. This new line would add another strategy for NBA offenses to use and NBA defenses to defend. So seeing guys like Steph Curry and Damian Lillard pulling up from deep on a more consistent basis would make the game be a little bit more exciting and ultimately allow the game to evolve a little bit more with this new rule. It would also help teams cut into deficits easier and more often. For example, if you're down eight points with less than a minute left in an NBA game, usually this means that it's over. With a four point line, it would allow the team to just have two possessions to actually come back and be in a tie game. On the other hand, a four point line could definitely hurt the NBA. For example, this new aspect could let games get out of control. If a team has a bunch of great shooters like the Warriors, then they could get ahead by a ton of points and not even give the other team a chance. Now, ultimately fans want to see close games because they're just way more exciting. Now, another reason that this could hurt the NBA is by the way it evolves over time. As with everything, if something significant changes in a sport, it's bound to evolve and change. And this would 100% be true if the NBA added in this four point line, then the game could evolve into something maybe even negative. For example, lots of guys could start to prioritize four pointers over three pointers and just chuck up crazy shots. So potentially this could cause a lot of air balls and just generally terrible shots, which makes basketball hard to watch when that happens. Long, 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 long. What I 
We see. saw this in the AAU when Steph Curry made the three-pointer popular. Kids were taking terrible shots all because they wanted to be like Steph. There have been recent reports from an NBA spokesperson saying that the NBA hasn't even considered adding in the four-point line, which makes it seem like it will never happen, but this seems to be far from the truth. Rod Thorne, former NBA second overall pick and president of basketball operations, has said that he's intrigued by the idea of a four-point line and that it has come up in discussions with the league. The thing is, Adam Silver isn't actually closed off to adding in a four-point line, and what he says next is actually really shocking. You know, I, I, there, there's been, we've mentioned it even in, in passing, it's maybe something fun to try an all-star. And, and the, the reaction from the players has been incredibly negative. I think some fans might, might love it, so I should never say never, but I think it's unlikely. As you know, I mean, we've moved the three-point line, I think, roughly five times in my yeah. tenure at the NBA. So that is something we'll continue to look at. Some people are saying it's coming soon. Adam Silver is saying it's not coming, but never say never. And now they might just move the three-point line backwards. I think they should just keep the game the same as it is for now now leave the three-point line where it is but let me know what you think in the comments down below check out another video i'll see you guys in the next one